So what we're going to be doing here today is we are going to be doing these school loops. So one of the things we wanted to work on, or I thought we'd need to work on, is there's around the um, around the city, really, they're creating these school loops, and they're like safe biking routes uh, through the community. So I actually wanted to throw up one right now that had uh, the neighborhood that my students go to school in, and that is um, St. James. So this is called Loop 3, and it's Red Turtle. So what they did is they actually looked for... Um, they actually put in you can see here the ind traditional indigenous names of uh, a red turtle and it was this shape that these schools all these dots are schools uh, that they the students could find a safe riding uh, route around all the schools so we can zoom out here and we can actually see we're at schoolloops.org and these are all the loops that have been created in winnipeg and there are signs um let's check this one out this one looks neat here so there are signs all over that show these loops and so this one here is in the osborne area crescent woods so this is called the green rooster and if we back out again and try and zoom out there we go uh, i guess we can kind of see that shape and so it's finding safe routes so you'll notice these routes aren't going to be on the main roads. These are areas on Wardlaw that students can ride their bikes, probably going past the schools and safe areas using active transport. So what I thought would be really neat is we've got all these loops, but as you can see, here's the airport. And this is us over here. Here's Tampa Park. Nothing. There's nothing here. And we have all these beautiful green spaces all over. Plus up here we have our Meadows West and um, Castlebury Meadows area where we're going to have um, Waterford Springs School as well. And these are all areas here that I think would be really fun to bike through safely. We have new bike routes in here as well. We have a bike path along here and we have a bike path along Kuwait in here. So why don't we try, try and uh, create one that's safe uh, where we can ride and encourage you to get out and walk and bike. So I went to Google Maps and here we sit on Google Maps. And I've already put in one of the filters uh, on the side panel as showing the bike routes. So you can see already we have some bike routes in this area. So what I found to do to create and design our own path is if we, this is Stanley Mill School right here. So if we, oh, it's got a picture of Mr. Van's lap. So we click here and we create a dot. Okay, one of these little these markers. And if I right click on it and go to measure distance, I can start drawing out what I think would be a neat school loop. So we know we have a bike path here. So I'm going to take us all the way to Tallman and I'm going to just left click on Tallman. And we'll see here that it's just about a kilometer long. So on Tallman, if we come down Tallman, we can access Prairie Rose School. So let's do that. And then we can actually cut through onto Lucas and I see Garden Grove is below. So I wanted to try and again, make sure I'm going on, you know, less busy streets. I'm just uh, right clicking the whole time. So we're going to go along. We'll head up to Garden Grove and there we're at Garden Grove. Okay. So that's pretty fun. Then Garden Grove Drive is pretty light traffic. So that'll be safe. And we're going to maybe head down to Tyndall, but let's take a nice quiet route. We're seeing options here for a quiet route. And we can get to Tyndall. Now, Tyndall, this is King Edward Street here. Uh, so I'm just going to grab here. So we're going to head down along Tyndall all the way to Manitoba Avenue. And we can move from Manitoba Avenue back up to this Tyndall here. And we can head, yeah, we can do that. We can head to Key Wayden. Key Wayden has a bike path here. It's not marked, but we can take that all the way up. Got a nice path. So we've got a cool shape heading here. And so we've already hit Tyndall Park. We've hit Prairie Rose. We've hit Stanley Knowles. And we've hit Garden Grove. So let's head up and perhaps what we'll do is we'll go all the way up and we'll wiggle along here because somewhere in here is, oh no, it's way up on Jefferson. So 
we're going to go here and perhaps we'll take Brooksmere Trail, which will get us to the new school. And we can go back. That works well. Perhaps we take here and we'll cruise through this nice area on our bikes. Over here, over here, these look like nice areas. And we can continue down here. And over here, we would get to Meadows West. So Meadows West is here. And we can click around back to Angster Gardens and down. And we'll take the bike path back to Stanley Knowles. Okay, so if we look at that here, this is my idea of what we could do as a shape. I have no idea what that's going to look like, but I bet one of you could think of a neat shape that that is a, a, a creature, an animal, a symbol um, that would represent this area. I'm thinking here it could be a long neck of something. Perhaps it's a Canada goose, considering they're at all the little lakes around here. And this could be the beak and the neck and then this could be the wings of the Canada goose and then we could create our own school loop we know that our school loop is i know it was marked somewhere it's 12 kilometers which is a nice distance and all these routes we would have to check them out would probably be safe so what i'm going to ask is that you try to find uh, what your school loop could be you need to have a rationale of a nice route so a nice distance it's got to hit all the schools in the area, including uh, Waterford Springs. You want to have as many safe routes as possible. That means it's going to be safe for students to ride their bikes on. It's going to have low traffic density, we're going to call it, and um, easily mapped in a neat, a neat shape that we can research as well. Okay, so let's give that a shot and I will go from there.